Okay, sixth grade, lesson 39. This is on multiplying decimal numbers. Okay, so let's start, for example, let's say you're finding the area, okay? And we talked a little bit about that and how we do length times width. Okay. We've just done whole numbers up to this point, okay? But sometimes you're gonna get like this, 0.75 meters and 0.5 meters, okay? okay? And you have to multiply those. So watch what I do. 0 0.75 times 0 0.5. Now, okay. how is this different than adding decimal the numbers? Decimals are lined up. The decimals are not lined up. You're exactly right. Okay? You just pretend like the decimals aren't there and you write the number yeah. just like you would any other problem. Or zeros. Okay? You don't even have to have the zeros if you don't want to. You can just like write 75 and 5. You can just put 0.5. And 0.75. Okay. Okay? So you pretend like these aren't here and you write your numbers just like you would any normal problem, any normal whole numbers. Okay? But the decimals are there, but you don't do anything with the decimals until the very end. Okay? So let's pretend like they're not there. We're going to go 5 times 5, 25. Uh, 25. Carry the 2. Then you go this way, 5 times 7, 35, 35. plus 2, 37. Now, once we're done with our answer, two. you're going to go, how many places are after the decimal? One, two, and then how many places are after this decimal? One. Another one. So, so how many total? One, three. two, three. So you're going to go from the right, because the math is a right to left number system, and you're going to go one, two, three, so you're going to go one, two, three. The answer is 0.375 it meters. Meters. And if you wanted to have a whole number in the beginning, you could put a zero. It's not important. Okay? okay. You got it? Yeah. Let's try another one. You write this one on your paper. <coughs> okay? 0 0.25 times 0 0.7. Okay, let's work it together. Seven times five? 35. Very good, carry the three. Seven times two? Seven times two, that's uh, 14. Plus three more? 17. 17, carry the one. Seven times zero? Zero, plus one, one. Got that? Yep. And we don't have to do the zeros unless you just want to, okay? And then let's count, remember we're done with our answer, now let's count after the decimals. One, two, three. So we start from the right and go one, two, three. The answer is 0.175, okay? How would I write this as a fraction? Oh, think, 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 it think. would be, uh, oh, okay, tens, hundredths, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So what so goes be, on the bottom? It'd be, uh, Thousand. Thousand on the bottom because it's then, in the thousands. And then 175. Yeah. Just whatever that number is, you put up there. Okay? So 0.175 looks like this as a fraction. Okay? That was a previous review that we have done. All right? Now, let's do just a few more just to make sure. Okay. They're going to put this parentheses around this number, and they're going to put a little 2 out here. What do you think that could possibly mean? Uh, Let's try this. Remember earlier, the other day, we did this? What would I do to answer that? That would be 5 to the second power, which, which would is be, uh, 25. 25. So I take this number and multiply it twice. So this would be 5 times 5, right? Mm -hmm. To get that answer, okay? So this one, they did it like this. Why do you think they might want to put it into a parentheses? Well, let's just look at it without a parentheses. Some people might think that we're just supposed to do the five. No. Okay? So they put in parentheses to show you that they're wanting this whole, no all of this uh -oh. number twice. So what you're going to do is go 2.5 times 2.5. Got that? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do that. 2.5 times 2.5. Now, the decimal numbers happen to be lined up. The decimals, doesn't. it just happened to be the way this one was. Still doesn't mean that you pull it down. Okay? okay. You do like a normal multiplying problem. So that'd be two. Okay? 
So one to, or five times five, 25. Five times two, 10, plus 11, 12. Okay, then we do this number, two times five is 10. Carry the one, two times two is four, plus one is five. Answer that, I don't know if you can see very well. Okay, it's I got 625, okay? And then we're gonna count, remember, after we're done with our answer, we count how many decimal places, one, two. So we're gonna start here and go one, two. The answer is 6.25. If I was to write that as a fraction, I have six whole numbers, and then this .25, what place is this in? Tenth? Hundredth. Hundredth. So, hundredth, 25. You get this? You'll learn how to do this part later, okay? Yeah. Because this is the whole number. Six pies and then 20 fifths of another pie, okay? So there's six pies and 25 out of 100 pieces left. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be a pie. <laughs> probably be something else, okay? Got it? You'll learn how to do this part later, but I just wanted you to focus on this part. Okay. Tenths, hundredths, got it? Okay. Let's let you do one on your paper. And here's how they write it out. How would you write that on your paper? Uh, 1.3. 1.3. Oh, 6. 1.6, yep. And then times 3. Uh-huh. Then... Yep. Okay, he set it up just right. 1.6 times 3. Okay. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay. I get 48. But where do I put my decimal? Uh, before the 4 8. Well, oh, one no, spot after the 6. Six between them. So just one spot. Okay. So 4.8 is the answer. Now, this is where it's going to get confusing in your brain and you have to focus really hard. Because if you were going to add these, 1.6 plus 3, what would you do? Um, you would go 1.6 plus, remember previous learnings? Where's the decimal even if you can't see it? Before. But after. You oh. said that last time. Okay. Try to remember. Get that in your head. It's okay. If it has nothing, that means we have three dollars. See that three? Yeah. So three dollars would be three point zero zero. We have no cents. Okay. Okay. So how would I work this one? I would do three point zero because in adding, you line the decimals. Yep. Whew. So you can't forget that. Okay. Multiplying, you count and go over. Adding, you add decimals if a number doesn't have a decimal, and the other one does, you add a decimal, line them up, and bring it down. So it's going to get kind of confusing when you start mixing them. You have to have good focus. That is lesson 39.